Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm up today with a personal haul. Yes I am. Super excited about it and I'm going to share it. Of course I am. That's why I'm here. Now I'm going to show you my biggest one first because I was so impressed and I have to tell you when I ordered this I had no idea it was going to be almost life size. So here we go. This is my candy apple. Isn't that fabulous? So you've got your caramel layer here, all drippy, or it can be chocolate or whatever. And you've got your separate stick. But look at the size of it. You know, I've got it in my hand. Ooh, it is just lovely. A wondrous thing it is. So I'm giving it a measurement. And it is four and five sixteenths yes it is so in other terms it is if i put it back up at the stick there it's a fraction over four and a half inches i think that's right i haven't had coffee <laughs> so i'm gonna do it again yeah no it's not it's four and three eighths there you go there's the accurate oh dear me but isn't that lovely so i want to be able to make a project tomorrow uh, use my personal haul and I think I'm going to use that oh just wonderful it could even be snow whitey couldn't it you know with the red apple next thing and you know me the garden my watering can isn't that fabulous now that's going to emboss into the paper but I'm um, I'm not sure if you could foil with that I mean, I don't have a hot foiling machine, but I keep, you know, promising myself I'm going to experiment because I do have uh, some little bits of foil. So, you know, an opportunity to uh, make a disaster on camera. But isn't that great? Oh, I do love that. Yes, I do. And if you didn't know it, AliExpress have currently got a sale going on. So if I measure that two and a half inches, and then the width of it to its spout is three and seven eighths. It's almost four inches. Oh, I love it. And then next up, I have some little jam preserve jars with their lids. We've got a little label here and another label here. And I think that's another label. I'm not sure. But I just think they're so sweet. Now the biggest one, which is kind of like the ginger jar shape, is, oh, let's have a look at that. That's one and five eighths. And then if I do that one, I've got loads of jars this shape. That's one and a half inches. Oh, isn't it cute? So I might have to just, you know, quick cut that one out but I just love the little labels I haven't figured out what that is but I will but I, I'm pretty sure it's another label but just really cute and then next up we are lions and also a bear because the head cuts out separate from the mane so if you wanted you know your two in one you can make a little circus thing you can have your lion and then you can have your bear but I love that you got a little teeny weeny one too. Just really cute. Great for the centre of rosettes. Two and a half inches on the big one. And just over one and a half inches on the small one. But isn't it cute? I love that that bit pops out because you can have a different colour nosy. Yeah, I like that. And fruit. Yes, fruits and jars. Because these two kind of go together. So I've got, if I can get them right, uh, orange, peach, strawberry, raspberry, cherry and pear. And another tiny little jar. But all of these have got hang loops so that you can, you know, just tie a bit of twine on your card or on your tag. And just dangle your little bits off there. Just really sweet. Next up, I've got tiny little plants because I'm thinking about gardening again, you see. I love things like this. And that is one and seven eighths of an inch. Next up, we have a little bucket. 
so it can be a galvanized bucket or whatever kind of bucket you want and then there's all kinds of little sprigs and flowers and stuff to go in there and uh, oh what's that stuff called pitberry or willow I think it's willow willow twig yeah and then you've got this one I think that's a snowdrop so you've got that shape just hanging down but the size of the bucket is just under two inches so I really like that and then paper clips oh yes you know me and paper clips if I see a paper clip I just have to have it that's a little elephant and it's also a little ladybird and you have to excuse my fingernails aren't they disgusting I've been out there this morning pushing all the bark chippings back making sure that you know everything was well watered because it's uh, we've had a lot of rain so I'm going to quick measure that. I just think that little elephant is so cute. One and a half inches. Ooh, got to do a close up. Look at the sweetness in that. Wonderful. And then I've been looking at this one for such a long time and I decided to go ahead and it's a lantern that comes with a candle and also a little hangy chain. So you could, if you wanted to, looking at this, you could double this up and uh, make it a shaker if you wanted to. Or just put acetate and cut two and just sandwich the candle in between. But great for Christmas, for putting by a window or something for Christmas or even Halloween. And it's got a um, little dotty pattern here, which of course your light would illuminate from. But I just think that's really sweet so let's have a look there three and a quarter inches high that's just on the lantern but i really love that right next up we're into christmas yes we are <laughs> because now is the time to save money buying christmas things yes so i've got three trees which uh, all look like this but if i flip it over you can see the size of them but you could layer those up together or just cut loads out lay them in and you know fluff them up really love those i like anything that looks fern like and three and a half inches is the tallest one and then to go with those i found this little deer because you know what i'm like once i hit piggy store that's it i'm i'm away with the fairies as they say and this is dimensional so that you can sort of like make the body and the legs and everything stand up from each other and the little cute face I might make that one just to show you because i think that's lovely and i can't really do the height of it because it needs to have its head on there but if I was to guesstimate it when made up, that's one and three quarters. And then say the little head, it's going to be almost two inches tall when made up. That's what I'm going to say. And then next up, we are gardening again and gardening containers. And I've got a little milk jug and a milk urn. Isn't that nice? We've got all those bits and bobs that can go inside of it all of that greenery love that so i think this is the tallest piece with the handle two and a half inches and then i've got more flowers so these are um either bluebells or lily of the valley i guess it would be entirely up to you i think another name for it getting all technical is squillia yeah i may be wrong <laughs> yeah uh. Right now the height of the biggest one is four and a quarter inches so that's a great size but kind of like comparing it to the greeneries and stuff that I've got here and they can be trimmed down all of that can go into those as well so I just think that's fabulous and then we are plants again and do you know I'm not even sure if I've already got this one or I might have the round basket version, but I just can't help myself when I see them. And you get that beautiful little plant pick with a little heart there, which of course would go that way around in your plant pots. Oh, just love it. And those two pots fit the basket. And then of course you've got your little handles on the end and a label that will go onto the front of your basket. 
so I just think that's gorgeous so what I'm going to measure here is just the basket because that is the biggest part and that is two and three quarter inches yes it is let's have another look just love it love all the dingly dangly bits because if you look at these you can pretty much you know create a scene i've got my bucket as well and put them all together that's why you know i like stuff like this because you can just mix and match them and uh, create so many different variations and then last but not least i've been eyeing these up for such a long time and I thought right that's it I'm gonna have them because I was thinking of Christmas and Advent and sometimes you want to do an Advent project but all the numbers and everything they're just too big and then I saw these number tags and I thought yeah I've got to get those I just think those are really sweet so you get that and you get the blank that will glue onto the back so you can change your color but I will tell you the size of these and they are one and no it's not it's seven eighths of an inch so it's not even an inch but if you've got like a little matchbox or something like that and you want to put something in and turn it into an advent type thing um, because you know your matchboxes if you glue them vertically you can just pull the drawer down and you can have your little number on the front but I just thought they were so sweet I had to have them so that was my $20 spend this month. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Love them. And I'm coming up with a project tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the sale if you're shopping it. And as usual, all links below. Bye.